so we on our way to the zoo and i'm really really nervous because the zoo looks like it's going to be amazing but me and cameron was watching the show where um this tiger was in a cage and somebody forgot to close the cage and the tiger saw one of the um zookeepers come over and he looked he was like hold up that cage looked open but the zookeeper was like, hold up, that cage looked open. So they both staring at each other trying to figure out what they gonna do. But this tiger was not a grown, grown tiger. This tiger was a baby. So the zookeeper was like, well maybe his instincts to attack me hasn't even kicked in yet because he's just a baby. So she was like, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over there nice and slow and I'm gonna go ahead and close the cage. So she goes to close the cage, but as she's coming closer, the tiger looking like, I know you're not about to close this damn cage because I'm about to hand it to you. So the, the tiger started coming closer to the door when she trying to close the cage. So she said she realized that he was coming towards her and that she would not be able to close the door fast enough. So she turned around and walked away. His instinct uh, like came in like, hold up. She turned her back on me. So the tiger came out the cage and jumped on top of her. He didn't know what to do at first, so he just started like biting at her a little bit though. And she was like, okay, if I don't move, it's gonna be okay. That nigga said, fuck this. He just started tearing her up, biting her head, everything, biting her ears, neck, like and everybody was still it was there in disbelief, blood all over the place, and people was coming in, they hearing her scream, and they just like, damn. I messed up. I don't even know what to do. So then people start running. They start running out like, hold up, we about to save ourselves and get up out of here. So after he he did that, he just gladly just walked inside his cage and sat down like, I did my duty for the day. He didn't know what else to do. So um, the lady ended up dying. They ended up putting, um, I don't know much about the animals and the preservation stuff like that but they ended up taking him somewhere else but they wasn't gonna kill him but um in her in memory of her they opened up a foundation to help tame um uh tigers and help with their behavior issues and stuff like that um i heard a couple stories about because we we watch a lot of geographic what is it national geographic we watch a lot of that so um we see the bears and the tigers tearing each other up and then me and Cameron was like we ain't going to no zoo no more forget this we is not going to no zoo no more and look y'all we on our way to the zoo so I'm gonna see y'all real soon y'all come along with us <music> Serena, Sor Soriana, and we are stopping past here to see if we can get us some snacks and drinks or something um, until we get to the circus. Because I don't know what the circus has in it. I don't know if it's going to be too expensive. It's going to be outrageous. But it's Mexico, so it, everything is kind of really affordable here. But just in case we don't have nothing we want, we're going. So are y'all excited about uh, about the circus? Circus. I mean, about the carnival. Yeah, we live in the circus. I mean, not the carnival, the zoo. Oh, yeah. I'm um, glad to see more animals. Oh, it's a tiger there. I saw a tiger before. How you feel about a tiger? Yes, this was a gift for my birthday, too, remember? Yes, but I'm scared of tigers, Helen. I'm scared of tigers. I'm, I'm actually excited to see all the animals. Like, I live with some animals, but, like, I want to see different ones. Deeper you want to try this? No, I do not. I think I want to try it. It's 20 pesos. I almost said 200. I was about to say, you got me that stuff. What's 20 pesos, though? 20 pesos. That's what we was trying to find That's out. That's one dollar. Oh. Okay. One dollar, guys, for that thing. Well. <laughs> oh. 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 That's my baby, y'all. 
He said he not a baby no more. He said he a grown man. He's 16. Y'all know that 16 age, you like, oh my God, you're growing up. You're turning into a man. That's the most exciting age ever. When I was 16, I had a whole baby. Can y'all imagine him having a baby? Hell no. I don't even want a, a thought of it. No. No, 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 no. All right, y'all, let's get up snacks. This nigga done put on camera shirts. Oh my God. He's so cute. Oh, here you go. Dang, what? But I know you know I, I didn't touch oh, I know I still want my hair. Right? No sticky, no chewy, or crunchy. Hola, Hola. Hola. como estas? Oh. I'll stop in. So we going to the zoo right now. Um, we trying to find parking. Oh, this is a hotel. What is this? Let's see if we can park here. They say it's for the public. They say Entrada and Salada is the same way. It's one way in, one way out. They said this is public parking, but it's at a hotel. And I don't know if we can get through with this big ass truck. We're gonna try our best. Today guys was so amazing and relaxing at the beautiful zoo in Merida, Mexico. I'm so happy I'm able to have these moments with my children and not have to worry about anybody coming to shoot up the place or violence or people wanna fight, trying to get on the rise. I remember in America um, on Easter Sunday, we would go to church and then on Easter Monday, we will always go to the zoo, like clockwork in Washington, D.C. And the zoo was nice, it was big, expensive, but everybody would show up. But the crazy part about it is everybody would just show up just to shoot. So if you will look on YouTube, you can see how many shootings happen at the zoo in Washington, D.C. But now living in Mexico, that is not a problem for me. It's not a worry that... Dad, if I take my kids to the zoo today, we might get shot up. Um, I really loved everything about it. The food was good. The prices was amazing. It cost us a dollar to get in there, but like I said, they didn't even ask us for the ticket. And then they had concession stands with candy, cotton candy, ice cream, all for a dollar. Nothing that, you know, too expensive that you wouldn't be able to afford. The thing, the animals that I did not want to see there was this panther. I didn't want to see a tiger or a lion. Those are the three animals that I'm afraid of. I couldn't imagine just opening up that cage and going in there with that cat. Oh, my God. I was just, I just thinking about it. But I thought it would be really hot. I thought I would be miserable and disgusted because of the weather and walking around. But it was very small, seamless. Um, it rained when we first got there, and then it had cooled off a little bit. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't cold. It was just right. It felt good. We seen a lot of the animals, you know, we used to see them, but just to hang out for the day, capture some beautiful sceneries and beautiful animals. I just figured, let's go out and have some fun, guys. And then we end up, um, there was a carnival there at the zoo. So the kids was able to get on the carnival rides. I've never seen that neither. 
comment down below if you guys ever been to a zoo that had a carnival there, restaurants there. I mean, Mexico just never ceases to amaze me. They always got all the fun things to do and they add so much to it. It's not just bam, the zoo. It's bam, the playground, the carnival, the zoo, the concessions, the restaurants, all that in one. So it makes it a fun stop, you know? I went to a store yesterday and the store had a restaurant inside. It was like a it was like a clothing store, but the restaurant was inside. And I was like, oh my God, they just really, really just do it up, you know, especially for the children. So we seen the hippopotamus. He didn't really get out the water too much. And then we went to go see some deer, some other animals. And next we're going to head over to the carnival, you know, and see how that's. Going. And the carnival was real nice because it was rides for adults too. So it wasn't just for the little kids, it was for the adults as well. So I was able to get on with the babies. Look at that tiger. Oh, the stories I have about them tigers. Oh my God, y'all. So I'm glad he's there and not out here with us. <laughs> so this is us eating at the little restaurant. And I was teaching the guy English, and he was teaching me Spanish. That's the playground over there. And they had some little carnival um, games and stuff. That's me showing you how much it costs. It wasn't bad at all. Just $4 for two sandwiches. So when you eat with the locals, it's cheap. So now the children want to go on a little carnival ride. They ain't really like it too much because they thought it would be some Six Flags type stuff, but I told them, look, it's just a little zoo for babies. So if you got babies and you want your babies to grow up in a nice area with nice things, you ain't got to worry about violence and killing, shooting and all that, you will not. You would not be upset about moving to Merida, Mexico. I swear you wouldn't. The best decision I've ever made. When you could just live a relaxed, seamless, beautiful, soft life. Nothing is crazy and all over the place. You just go visit places like this on a daily basis. And just count your blessings, you know. I've always wanted to live my best life. I, I used to tell my ex-husband all the time, I just want peace beyond understanding. Now I finally got the peace that I've been always looking for and searching for. It's here, guys. Amazing. So we have more to come, more places to go, more places to see. And I mean, this is all over Mexico things like this for you guys to do with your children all over Mexico. Look how big this iguana is. I couldn't believe the size of things. And it's just walking around everywhere. I'm so scared to get near it. I'm like, I don't want him to attack me. My iguana bit me one time. But here it is. Uh, no cop. Cop. How much is it? No, we don't worry about price. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. This is so good, though. You did good. I know, I'm right. Tris? Mom, 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 this part okay. tastes Mom, mm -hmm. this part tastes good. Mom. Okay. Have a part? Go ahead. Don't run off because we need to see you. Wait, you don't want to try it, Cameron? I was, but mom didn't ask for two. Let's try the same thing. Something, something, something weird. One, two, three. It's the, it's like cranberry juice. It tastes like cranberry juice, but I hate cranberry juice. It's like cranberry juice. It tastes like cranberry juice. All right, let me taste yours. It tastes like cranberry juice. So Jamar is going to try a sandwich it's from so here. 
Like Toast Toastero. Yeah, they put Nutella on them like you did for Tostero. us. Tostero. I realize Tostada? Tostino? Tostada. Tostino. 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 I think it's Tostaro. So what is this, Mom? Table left. Table left. It's Mesa. Mesa? Mesa? Uno Mesa. This is Mesa? Uno Doste. Mesa? No. This is Mesa. Cinco Table. Personas. Mesa? You got to teach me Espanol. Dos Mesas. Dos Mesas. Mesa, see me this is Mesa? I just I just want to learn Espanol. I just want to learn it. Espanol. I, 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 I learn Espanol, I teach you English. You, you teach me Espanol. Tostero? Or tostada? Tostado. Tostado. Super Dora. Super Dora Dita. Super Doradina. No tomatoes. Okay. Uh. Super is jamón. Jamón. Cheese. Mhm. Salami. Mhm. Este lechuga. Hoja. Lettuce. Mhm. Lechuga. Ya lechuga. Mayonesa. 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 Uh huh. Y cebolla. 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 I don't know cebolla. What? Onions. Oh, onions. Okay. Okay. No, no tomato. Cebolla aquí y allá. Yeah. English. Uh, onions. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. So, uh, no tomatoes. Nada. Okay. See. Si. Yes. See. Si. Total. With your grasses. This is the worst garden thing I've ever tasted in my life. Oh my god, you hear this? It tastes like perfume. Oh my god, let me smell it. Yeah, I really like it. Oh, that's nice. And look what's inside. It's a man inside there hiding. Oh, it's a little boy. Check you back. You want to take him back to America? Try it, mom. Mm. Well, you can just send him on that on that mm -hmm. plane right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a slide. It literally tastes yeah, like it is a slide, perfume. So you gonna send him on? It tastes like cereal. It tastes like perfume. What's that? Perfume? Yeah. What's that? I don't like it. Nah, y'all. Y'all was paying a dollar for this shit. It's not bad. You can taste it like knock on candy. Like this the, uh, ice cream break. Here, so we can get us some ice cream. You see, the ice cream is 20 pesos. 20 pesos is a dollar. Dollar for the ice cream cone. So you would think it would be more expensive because we add a but I told y'all to keep it pretty simple. So, oh, somebody to drive you. Now, I want to see one uh, zoo in America that has a playground and has a carnival. I've never seen it. And have activities like this. All you see is the animals. That's it. This right here is a playground. We'll be at the uh, at the park, not at the zoo. The carnival will be at the carnival, not at the zoo. It's totally different. And we had an amazing time. Everything was dirt cheap. Like a dollar, two dollars, pesos, yeah. uh, three dollars. Everything was so cheap in the carnival rides. We just had fun. Tell your uh, your side, like, would you like it or would you come again? How do you rate it? Uh, <laughs> 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 
Okay, what about you, Kamal? I like all the stuff that I got, but the ride sucks. Okay, when she was on the ride, she got injured a little bit. We're trying to save our phones. We didn't go on the train. Oh, we didn't go on the train at all because the line was too long. See how the phone was going to come up here. Kamal, what about you, Kamal? It's so hot. <laughs> okay. So bye guys.